this is Drew Stevens, and this is my view from the stands to help you accelerate your business. Hi there, this is Dr. Drew, and I want to talk to you today about the seven deadly sins of business development. Yes, that's right, seven deadly sins. You know, if I look at what's going on in organizations today and the fact that they've cut back on training development and the fact that most selling professionals don't invest in their own careers, well, you just might be doing things each and every day that you're not aware of and might be costing you some sales. Think of it this way. Number one, service. H.R. Shally suggests that over 45% of every selling situation involves customer service. If that's the case, and with customer-to-customer -customer influences being so imperative today, then customer service is the key differentiator. Think of resources that you can do that can maintain loyalty and bring back that customer experience. Number two, communication. Communication is absolutely vital in the workplace today. And the fact is, is that while many organizations spend time on selling presentations, closing skills, and a myriad of other training paradigms, the fact is, is that selling really involves communication. You really need to know how to negotiate. You really need to know how to ask and answer good questions and be articulate about the company, the industry, and what's going on with your customers. Number three, follow up. This is the thing that irks me the most. It's absolutely disparaging today with some of the things that I see where people are not returning phone calls. Everybody tells me how busy they are. And the fact is, is that I'm busy. You're busy. However, don't you find it disrespectful when you leave a voicemail for someone? You send an email and they don't get back to you? Imagine being the customer on the other side of the fence. It is absolutely imperative that you follow up. One of my rules is I return calls in 90 minutes and I return emails within a half a day to a full day if I'm out on business. Think of it especially if customer service is a key differentiator in competitive marketplaces today. In addition to that, preparation. You need to know what you say before you say hello. You need to have a voracious appetite for information and there's a myriad of resources out there that you can get that information from. Reuters, Bloomberg, and even Clipping Services provide information directly to your email box so that you can find out about your prospective customers and things that they're undertaking. You also need to watch your language. I utilize Dictionary.com and it sends a new word of the day to my mailbox. The fact is you need to be articulate with economic buyers. They want to know that you can help them and understand what's going on in the workplace today. And the fact is, is that if you're talking with acronyms and a whole bunch of vocabulary they don't understand, well, it might be too confusing. Number six, action. Think of it this way. If you don't tell a prospective customer or even an existing customer what you want them to do, they're not going to do it. You need to have action in everything you do, no matter what. Otherwise, they're too busy, they'll be distracted, and they'll be on to the very next thing. And finally, the last sin, relationship. When you look at selling today, and it's disparaging because I get a number of cold calls throughout the day, and it's incredible how many people want to sell me widgets of some type in some way, shape, or form. Guess what? It's about value. It's about relationships. Don't sell me on widgets. Sh sell me on the relationship that we can have because it's all about trust and respect. That's it. How much time do you spend on your selling skills? How much time do you spend with clients each and every day and you don't get the closure rates that you're really looking for? Isn't it discouraging to find out how much time you're taking and you're increasing labor, increasing stress, and you're not getting the results that you want? Well, instead, you have to take action. You need to create action in your day. You need to create things and gain the education that's going to help you end the stress and get the results that you're physically looking for. If you're feeling stuck and scared, and you want to move beyond where you are today and get the sales help so that you can create the better business development, then email to me today. I want to hear from you. I want to know how you're doing and I want to know what action steps you're taking because if you're physically stuck, perhaps I can stop you from creating these deadly sins and getting you the results you're looking for. I'll see you next time. Hi, this is Drew Stevens and I'm trying to take you from the stands right into the fast track and help you accelerate your business. I'll see you at the finish line.